Resurgence of vinyl has been fantastic. And there, you know, there's, think about it, even, even, even in a family environment, father and mother come home with a vinyl record and they walk into the living room or, or they, they pick one up and they go to put it on the, on the turntable. And that's an event, right? Just switching something on your phone really quickly isn't, but going up there and queuing, and in some cases, you know, turntables go up to half a million dollars now and they can become art themselves. I, I, I have a great VPI turntable at my house. It's probably a ten fifteen thousand dollars table with its cartridge and everything. And it's, it's an event when I walk up over there and I go put the needle down on the record. It's phenomenal. And, and, and what's also caused is the digital, you realize when MP3 came out, you know, it, it, would, it would take, you know, what, four gigs on an iPod for, you know, a $500 play would only get you four gigs and, and a CD 750 megahertz, so um, you would only could put five CDs worth. So nobody kept that resolution up. That's why MP3 came along, so you could go put 500 songs in your hand. But now you can buy a terabyte for 100 bucks. So now resolution can go way back up and you have a lot of music servers now coming at 192. So to give you an idea, idea CD, CD is at 44.1. So just think of the number 44. So to be able to download 192 files is fantastic. Back up, back up, back up. So you're talking about compressions. Yeah. So they degraded the quality of the music. Substantially. And unfortunately, through, the, through about the last 15 years, people didn't realize, but they were listening to one-tenth, one-fifteenth the resolution they used to listen to on a CD or on vinyl. They didn't know it, right? So what, now it's going back up. And now it's going back up because finally, it's so inexpensive to, to be able to to buy a terabyte or you know, yeah. or at least 128 gig or whatever in your hand. Now, people are starting to learn that, wait, I would like at least CD quality back, please, because I can store it on my, you know, I can put 2,000 songs on it. And by the way, if you buy a terabyte or more, you could easily you know, get your resolutions up to way beyond what CD was. So in the studio all day long, they're laying down at 192. Some studios lay down at 384. And, and you, don't, you don't have the major brands yet, unfortunately, sitting on television ads of the Super Bowl telling the youth this, but they're hearing it because they're buying vinyl again, and vinyl's way up on those resolutions. Yeah. So, my hearing's not as um, refined as others. <laughs> a lot of people tell you that. Um, but if I play the vinyl and you see then the, um, the iTunes. The MP3, the, the old MP3. Oh, you'd hear such a significant difference? Oh, yeah. Not only that, but there's actually different masterings. So you take the Red Hot Chili Peppers California Cation, which they recorded at East West Studios in LA. There's different masterings that go out, that went out for the, the MP3. When those, those, so think about in the old days when you were like um, uh, setting a tape, if you ever, you're old enough to ever make your own tapes or anything like that, and you could, you, could, you could decide if you wanted to turn up your input and keep it in the green or the yellow or the red. Well, if you turn it all the way up to the red, when you played it back at low volumes, it got loud, but it was, but it was really compressed. It almost came out of distortion. If you kept it down in the green, it's cleaner, but you'd have to turn your volume up way more. Well, you know, so, so essentially you want, you want those recordings back down in the green and yellow. You don't, want them, you don't want them slammed into the red and compressed. And so there's literally, you know, when you, even some of the most famous albums in history have been mastered or remastered at, 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 with different sound engineers, you know, with, with different intents in mind. And unfortunately, not only was MP3 really bad quality, but people were literally just jamming it all the way up in the red, if you will, so that when someone played it back on their car or their, or their speakers on, on, on level two, it sounded loud. So but it can Oh, everything, yeah. The resolution's way back up now. So online, you can download your WAV files at 44.1 or better. You can, you can download 192. Um, so just when you get online now, the, the youth, my 10-year-old daughter and her friends are learning now, you can get online. Um, I was with Jay Brown uh, at, um, at Rock Nation uh, in LA just last week before I flew here, and he started a company called Tidal. And you can download a lot of the best songs at 192, which is fantastic re re uh, resolution. And there's many other services like that that do that. You, you go online in different services, and for your dollar a song or whatever, in many cases you can decide what resolution you want to down. Uh, how about when you watch TV? Even what? if even my if, whole collection, sorry, my whole collection is ruined. Right, like you know a TV. When you order a Netflix movie, do you want the low resolution or do you want the high resolution movie oh. for an extra dollar? Well, you can do the same thing with music. You ruined me yeah. again. <laughs> and yet your vinyl was always there and still is, right?